your life. Okay. Go ahead. Who are you and where am I? I am Janet Goldhorn and we're at James A. Whitaker School and we're the home of the Sharks. Everybody wave! And we're here to do a drawing lesson with Mr. Mark today. And where did you meet me? We met at San Diego Comic Fest. On uh, Saturday was just, uh, now do I want a tag video? I sure do. Is Janet, you are now tagged. I'm tagged. And this is Jack and her son right here. And Janet, thank you for inviting me up to your school all the way from San Diego Comic Fest. Usually I was telling the kids here, usually it takes um, many, many months to organize a visit and she did it in 36 hours. So thank you for the invitation. I'm uh, very, very excited to be here. Now, let me tell you a little bit about my son. This is one of my books I've written about how to draw. All right, now, um, if Janet, Miss Janet doesn't have one of these books, I'm going to make sure she gets one so you guys can borrow it and use it, I hope, uh, or in your school library, okay? And it's, uh, there's over a million of these books in print, so it's very exciting after teaching for 40 years, getting notes from people who are using my book in, in China and in Korea and in uh, uh, not... Um, yeah, but Yugoslavia, but there was one, uh, Ukraine, Ukraine just published it two weeks ago. I'm so excited. Someone say, ooh, very, very cool. So I'm very international. Someone say, awesome. And the whole point is to get you to draw, to get you to love to draw. So it's a, it's a, it's a simple goal, and I got to get my camera. There we go. So we're going to be drawing our paper today, okay? Now. Uh, everybody that's online with me right now uh, has heard this story many times, but I'm going to go and tell you guys. So it'll give you a little introduction to what in the world and who is this crazy guy up there in front. Well, in 1985, in L.A. and California and all over America, I was Commander Mark on the Secret City. I, I wrote and co-produced a series. I was 19, 20 years old back then. Look how young I was. I look exactly the same, don't I? A little older. Well, then in 19, uh, and a little bit later, in um, 1996, I was a Mark, I was Captain Mark on a series called The Imagination Station. Someone say, ooh la la. Ooh la la. And in this series, we taught millions more folks how to draw. That was my whole dream, and still is, is to get you guys excited with the joy and the fun and the creativity of learning how to draw. That's my whole, my whole mission, and it's so much fun because who doesn't like to draw, right? It's just wonderful. All right, so we did this. Now, this TV series right here, this won the Emmy, ooh, back in uh, 2000 and I think it was 2008. Someone say, ooh. So I'm telling you that for two reasons, ready? And everybody on Facebook's heard me say this a dozen times. Um, first reason is I'm trying to impress you so you'll like me. And the second reason is if you have fun with this show, with, with today for this next drawing lesson, my, the, the, this TV series, this old TV series, it's got a whole new life on, how many of you have a, uh, Netflix? Who has Netflix? Raise your hand. <laughs> I'm not on Netflix. For, forget about Netflix. How many of you have... How many of you have Amazon Prime? Who has Amazon Prime right there? Oh yeah, I'm on Amazon Prime. Someone say awesome. Okay. awesome. So if you guys have fun, but another 15% if you can. Look at my cool guy. Thank you, Mr. Handsome Man. Just turn up, turn up just a little bit more. Can you turn up a little bit more? Just a little bit. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's great, but do not get down 30%. One, two, three, four, five. That's great right there. Thank you, sir. Can you raise your hand if you can hear me? Great. Awesome. Well, let's get going. So hopefully this whole lesson today is to get you excited about pencil possibilities. And if you realize that you, A, you can draw, and B, that you love to draw, maybe you'll draw every day. Maybe you want to pursue a career in, uh, let me put this over here because I'm going to do two things at once. I'm going to be doing this lesson. And I'm gonna be webcasting it. And we're gonna draw, let's get this working here. All right, so you put a dot in the middle of your paper and give me four squares. So go down here. 
Hey, look at that, I'll put it in my pocket. All right, see, that's called, we're artists, right? We're creative, we can solve problems. All right, so put a line across, so you have four squares. And I see that one of your mascots is a shark. Are you guys the sharks? Yeah. Well, let's draw a shark, shall we? All right, so we're gonna draw a shark for our first drawing up here. All right, and uh, Janet, did you know you can watch me on Facebook while we're doing this? You can make comments and heckle me, I'm just joking. All right, so here we go. We're gonna zoom in this, you guys can see it. So let's very lightly block it in. Now this is one of the steps of drawing, is, is drawing whisper lines. Sketch, get sketch, very lightly. Someone say whisper. whisper. Whisper, whisper, whisper. If you learn how to draw with these whisper lines, you can draw anything in 3D. So draw very lightly. Now I'm gonna make the shark coming out here, almost coming off the edge of the paper. That's gonna be the shark's nose. And I'm drawing really lightly. We're shaping, we're molding it. We wanna make it look we want to build the structure of it, okay? So uh, the eyes, I'm gonna draw one eye right here. Here, now watch this, this eye back behind here, overlapping, tuck it back behind. Tuck it back behind. And that's one of the Renaissance words of drawing. Now there's 12 words to learn of drawing. And if you learn to these 12 ideas, you can draw anything in 3D. It's really that easy. It's 12 Renaissance words. So now take your pencil. I'm gonna clean this up a little bit. I'm gonna erase that behind the eye. And then I'm gonna kind of darken in. This is called detail. See, detail, detail, detail. So here we are all the way in, in Bueno Park, California. And we're at your school whose name is the Sharks. But what's your school's name? Yeah, that's the school we're at. I'm, I'm deaf, you guys, so what I heard is, I'm, oh, Whitaker, I see your t-shirt, thank goodness. All right, thank you for wearing your sweatshirt with the name of your shirt. So we're gonna draw this shark, and you guys, that's a thresher shark on your shirt, so let's put a, put a little shark lip right here, and we're gonna put a curved line, this is called contour, contour line. Hello now, everybody on Facebook, everybody on Facebook, I want you guys all to wave and say hi and give us a thumbs up for the kids here at Whitaker Elementary School in Buena Park, California. And you guys, you wanna see, look at, this is what I'm seeing here, see? See all these guys? And then we're about to see all these hearts down here. You see them all? Is that cool? See that? Look at that, is that cool? We see your hearts, you guys. Oh, give us some more. That's not enough. We want more hearts, more thumbs up. Come on, give us some more love. Okay, kids, go, yay. They, they love you. They love you. They love you. They love you. Da! I can't believe I drew a hair on this shirt. Da! You ask Miss Janet, do I scream when I draw a hair on the live shows? So, yes, I do, I can't help it. People, people ask me, they say, why? Why do you scream when you draw hair, why? And I say, um, it's fun. That's my big answer. All right, here, draw the eye, leave a little reflection. Now, are you guys are all fifth graders, is that right? You're all third graders. You guys are the, the rulers of the school, the third graders. Someone say, oh yeah. So this is the shark for the third grade Whitaker geniuses. Ooh la la. Now, take your pencil and let's, here take your pencil and let's put some curved contour lines right here. Take your pencil and curve these. Now watch this. I'm gonna draw the, the dorsal fin of the shark going back, see? Let's draw the dorsal fin of the shark coming down here. The dorsal fin. and. That's, that's the, there we go. Now, down here, this is the pectoral fin. Watch this. I'm gonna draw the pectoral fin curving back. That's the same pectoral. pectoral. See, that's the side fin. That's like the arms of the, the shark and it's turning around. And now let's clean up. Let's clean up here. And I'm gonna put, see, I'm gonna take my eraser, clean up the, this line, clean up the fin. You definitely want to erase that, it's really important. Clean that line up right there, okay? Now, right here, I'm gonna put some teeth. I love the details. Someone say detail. Detail. 
The detail is the fun part. When you add more and more and more details to make your drawing more fascinating and more interesting and it invites the viewers to come and dwell inside your picture. Now right here, put a little shadow. Right here, see, make it real dark, put a shadow. Right here, put a shadow. Isn't that cool, the Whitaker Sharks? Now I love how that shadow lifts that tooth up. Isn't that, isn't that wonderful? Put another dark here, make it lighter as it comes up. Isn't that cool? Now right here, I'm gonna put a belly. He's kind of chubby. Yeah, this, he's had a lot of sushi lately. I love sushi. So this guy, look, I put wrinkles right here. There's wrinkles. Now, right here, see this, look. This, the, the shark's turning, so you put some wrinkles. And even even the con the, uh, the, the gills, right? How the shark breathes, even that's a curving line. It's all curving. And I'm gonna put some light shading underneath here. Put some shading. And it gets lighter, shady. And it's dark on the bottom. Now watch this, I'm gonna take my finger and just, just a little bit. See how I blend it up just a little bit? Isn't that cool? So let's shade underneath the nose. I love the shading. Someone say shade. shade. Isn't that cool? And have it get lighter and lighter. Isn't that cool? Look at that, lighter and lighter. And then shade underneath the eye. Isn't that wonderful? Now, the back fin is gonna be shorter and smaller. This is a word called placement. Near things are lower and larger, and this is smaller. See how it moves away? We're, we're giving this illusion of depth. It's deeper in the picture, it's far away. Some things are near and some things are far. So there it is. So put that shadow right here. It gets a little bit lighter as it goes away. And coming back, now we're gonna draw the thing. Let's clean up again. Someone say clean up. Clean up. Clean up. So here, uh, erase that little pot spot. And let's come up here. And, and then let's get smaller and smaller as we move away. Draw the, the bottom. And look at this now, the top fin, watch this. Look, look at that. I'm gonna have this fin kind of swooping back. Isn't that cool? Someone say, oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. See, I love it. See that? It's like whooshing up. Now this is how the shark stuns its prey. It takes its tail and it whips its tail around. And the little fish goes, ow! Little fish is, look at, little fish, she's swimming along, just having having a fine day, just swimming along. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming. Ah! Not cool, man, not cool. And the shark's, the shark's going, all right, woohoo, popcorn. So these fish, all these fish over here, they're coming over to show their support. See, this is a, a school of fish, get it? Just, they say, they share a school, a school of thought. They're they're like, hey, eat chicken. No sushi. Look at their carrying signs. No sushi. Don't eat, eat don't eat our cousin. Eat chicken. Look at their all. And you know who and then they even have a celebrity coming to help their cause. They, here's way over here, look at there's Ariel the mermaid. She came over to join. Here's Ariel. Look at, she's, she's down here. She's kind of far away, but you can see she's beautiful. Look at her hair. She's singing. La, la, la. La, la. And she's carrying a sign. Don't eat my friends. Eat chicken. No sushi. No sushi. And the shark's going, I'm not going to eat you. I just wanted to play Monopoly. You guys ever play Monopoly? Yeah. Raise your hand if you play Monopoly. Oh yeah, I thought that was a forgotten cool game. Here, nice and nice and dark here, lighter and lighter. Nice and dark, come back. All right. So I'm gonna let you guys decide, what are we gonna draw next? Are we gonna draw, let's see here, I got some choices for you. What are we gonna draw next? What are we gonna draw next? Are we gonna draw? Draw a fish coming at you. Are we, huh? Are we? Are we? Huh? 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 Are we? Are we? Yay! Oh! I'm gonna draw the fish coming at you. Or maybe we should draw 
A big, giant, fat ninja squirrel. Hey, how are you? I'm a fat ninja squirrel. I'm awesome. Maybe we should draw... Ooh, how about... Anybody want to draw, like, a dinosaur? Oh, the dinosaur seems popular. Okay. What about... What about the eagle's eye? Who's watching you? What do you think, though? What about... What about some penguins? There's so many ideas. Uh, let's see here. Oh, ooh, wait, wait, here's T-Rex. Uh, oh, I got an idea. Let's, okay, since we're drawing the, the, uh, the shark, let's go over to square number next square, and let's, let's do one more ocean drawing. I think we'll draw a little fishy guy, and then we'll land, then maybe we'll land on the moon, draw some craters or a robot or an alien monster. So we're gonna draw a little fishy guy. So draw the, the fishy guy. He's gonna be facing all these guys. This little fish is coming up saying, don't eat my friends. So that's a whisper line. Draw very lightly. This is sketch, get sketch. We're drawing super light. The Whitaker Sharks, that shark was a cool, cool uh, mascot for your school. All right, let's block this in lightly. This is called a whisper. I'd say whisper. Draw the whisper line. Now I'm gonna draw the near eye right here of the fishy, draw the near eye. And we'll darken in the detail in just a second. This eye back here is a little further away. It's a little smaller. That's, that's called uh, overlapping and also size. This is also lower. This is higher, this is lower, this is larger, this is smaller. That's all about 3D. You see, if you write down here, if you take this and you write down here, write 3D equals, write this, write 3D equals the illusion of depth, D-E-P-T-H, depth. Someone say depth. Try to say it without spitting, depth. See, we're gonna make this look further away. Now see, 3D, 3D is length plus width, which is height, length and height, length and width and height, plus depth, see, that near and far. That equals 3D, equals ooh la la. Yeah, that means, that equals ooh la la. Ah! I can't look at, oh my gosh. I can't believe I drew hair on a fish. Why, why does he scream when he draws hair? Why? I, because it's fun. Here, let's draw, look at, I'm gonna give this fish some really cool hair. This fish, this fish need to get a haircut. Look at, this is a new species of fish that was found off the ocean coast of Oklahoma. Oklahoma. See, there's no coast off of Oklahoma. That was a joke. Do you get it? Do you get it? Do you get it? Do you get it? Huh? Do you? Do you? Huh? 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 Do you? Do you get it? Someone say, someone say, ha, 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 You have to entertain me. I'm an artist. I'm very insecure. You have to laugh at anything remotely funny. <laughs> hey, I'm watching you. I'm watching you. That's a, should, we, should we draw a koala next? No. Okay, now look, I'm gonna draw, I'm gonna look at his, see this grin right here, look. See that grin? I give him a lip. I'm, should I give him a big, look at big lip right here? He little, little, Mwah, I love you. Mwah, 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 mwah. I love you, yes, I love you, yes I do, yes I do. And then, I wonder if I should like droop the eyelids a little bit. It's like I droop it. Ah, uh, it's it's a sleepy fish blowing kisses to everybody. I love you, but I have to take a nap. I love you, so I do. Yeah, here, here's contour lines, but those are curving lines. Now this line right here, this is called a, 
a pectoral, that's the side fin. Say pectoral. Pectoral. Pectoral, put a little contour underneath the eye, curving lines, detail. Should we put fangs? Do you want to put fangs? Yeah! Okay, look, it's, it's like super sweet looking, then all of a sudden. Uh, look at that, look. And then, the, oh wait, the back, watch this. The back fang is back here, see? Look at that. Let's look at it. It's supposed to be all sweet and rah! Yes, I'm very sweet and I just want to eat you! Rah. No, don't eat me, eat chicken. Don't eat me. Now, way up here, now this is the dorsal. These are pectoral fins. So this is a little bit lower here. We're gonna go uphill. This is lower, it's going up. See, this is lower, it's called placement. It goes uphill. Okay, cool. Ooh, how fascinating. Ooh. Oh, fascinating. Ooh. Yay, me! Okay. You guys got really quiet there for a second. I'm feeling a little bit awkward. Apparently, Ninja Squirrel startled you. Is he scary? Is he is he friendly or scary? Here, this one. This is cool. Oh, I love you. Oh, oh give us give us a hug. Oh. All right. I okay. Put the dorsal fin on top. It gets smaller as it comes down. And now we're gonna add texture. Put wrinkles. I love wrinkles. Someone say wrinkles. Wrinkles. I love the wrinkles. Now I'm gonna get I'm gonna get a little fancy on this one. Watch what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take the tail. Now watch, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hook the tail around. And then I'm gonna hook it again. I'm gonna put a foreshortened circle here. See that? Isn't that neat? Yeah. Foreshortening. And then here, tuck it in overlapping. You see how it tucks down? That's called tapering. Someone say taper. Taper. And then down here, I think, I think I'll do the same thing. I'll do down here. I think I'll tuck it in. This is overlapping. See, it tucks underneath, and it makes a really cool little tail. Isn't that fun? It's like a fabric. Did I go too fast? Okay, give me one thumbs up or two thumbs up. Ready? Give me one thumbs up or two thumbs up. One thumbs up or two. Oh, I'm seeing a lot of, give me one thumbs up. Or, give me two thumbs up and an ear. Two thumbs up and an ear. Let me see. Yeah. Hey, son of Janet, smile, wave, son of Jan. Wave. Okay, everybody, hold up your drawings. I'm gonna see your drawings. Put your drawings over your nose. Put your drawings over your nose. I need three people to come up here, three to show me your drawings on the camera. Let's see. All right, let's get you. Get up here, Miss Miss Ugboot. Stand right up here. Mr. Shark, Mr. Whitaker Sharks, Mr. Blue Shirt, bring your drawing. Come here. All right, hey, you in the blue shirt. You're all in blue, I know. Uh, okay, come here, you guys three stand right here, right in front of me, come up, face me. Come over here, hey guys, just right here. Come this way, come over here, come over here. Right here, now take your drawing and put your drawing right here so I can see it. Okay, now look, I'm gonna put you on camera, look. You see that? Someone say awesome. awesome. Okay, wait, hold it. I want to look at this. You guys are so great. Now wait, put it back up. Put it up. Put it over your right under your nose. So you look over. Look at my nose. Over. Put your drawing right under your nose. There you go. See, this is your disguise. So I can do this, and the people will recognize you. So look at this, you guys. Let's give them some hearts. Give them some hearts out there in Facebook world. Look at these drawings. Everybody, give them a hand. They're doing so great. Give them a hand. Look at this. Oh, that was so wimpy. Give them a hand. All right, go on, get out of here. Thank you, you're amazing. I love you, go on, get. All right, give me three more people, quick. Three more, green shirt, get up here. Bow in your hair, get up here. Way in the back with the cool hairstyle, get up here, red jacket boy. Where's your blue shirt? Just throw, get up here. Come on guys, come here. Line up here, put your drawing. Put your drawing in front of your nose. Okay, hold on, put your drawing in front of your nose. Everybody say, ooh la la. Look at these drawings, look at these. Hold on, hold on here. I'm gonna put that up so you can see it more. There we go. Now wait, I'm gonna put you on the world. Say hi world. Hi world. Look at these smart sharks from 
the school here, look at this. Put your drawings all the way up over your nose there. Those are great. All right, go back, get, get out of here, I love you. I love you. All right, good job, good job. Can someone say good job? Good job. All right, let's, let's shade this fish now. You, you guys should see all, look at these hearts, you guys, look. Look, look at all the hearts. Look, look. Look at that, look at all the hearts we're getting. Thank you, look at that. Hey, all you guys who are given hearts, we're, we're seeing them on screen, that's wonderful. All right, the kids love it. Someone say, love you. Love you. Oh, you guys are awesome. We're learning how to draw. We are just genius artists, genius artists. This is what happens when you draw. A whole world of possibilities opens up to you. Okay, now look at sun's up here, shade down here. Shade over here, look at sun's coming. Shade inside, I love the shading. I love the shading. You guys should see all these. The, now, all right, Annecy, thank you for the heart. Sometimes I'll get back to drawing. I think you just broke a record for the number of thumbs up given in one drawing lesson. Now take your, take your uh, pencil, clean up the fish's face. Just clean up under the, sh under the, under the tooth, shade up under the wing, the fin, that's like the bird wing. Shade down here. And, do you guys ever see angry birds? Yes. Well, I taught the guys who created angry birds and uh, do you ever see the movie Pixar, that little short of birds on a wire? Well, I taught those guys how to draw, and the bird we're about to draw was, uh, uh, you'll see a very, a very similar style with those birds that they, my students later animated with Pixar. I've been teaching drawing for a long time, for 40 years. Someone say, oh my, for 40 years. And some of my students have grown up to become artists and animators. Some of my students uh, went on to animate this right here, you guys recognize? You guys, you guys recognize that? Yeah, that's a Despicable Me characters, Minions, and BB-8. Uh, some of my students work in Lucasfilm. Some of my old students created Despicable Me characters. Let's see if you recognize this character. Anybody? Anybody recognize this guy right here? Some of my students are the animators and character developers and set designers and directors for DreamWorks, Pixar, Disney, uh, Marvel Comics. I have a lot of students. This is a drawing that I did. And, and col colored by my great friends, Brock and Doug and Jose. Got a whole bunch of my old students. But do you guys recognize Little Mermaid? Uh, some of my students worked on Frozen and character that. So, uh, I love the guys. I especially love the little baby snowmen. Now, who, who, have any of you seen the movie How to Train Your Dragon? Oh, look at this. You see? Now, this is a drawing that I, I've been teaching this since back in the late 1980s. And you might see a little resemblance to this guy in some of those dragons. And it's so neat to know that some of my drawing style influenced these movies and these uh, young animators. Anybody recognize that character? Yeah. Uh, here's a, a shout out to one of my old uh, viewers and just a great genius talent, National Treasure Rex Grignon. He was the character developer for Madagascar and he directed and worked on, I believe he directed Kung Fu Panda. It could have been Madagascar, I forget. All right, well, good job, Rex Grignon. All right, let's get going. Let's go to square number three. Now, the reason I showed you those drawings is because I want you to always consider pencil possibilities. Someone say, oh yeah. Because who knows, maybe you wanna be, let's draw a bird, let's draw a little birdie. Maybe you wanna be, a, uh, an artist, an, a graphic illustrator, a comic book artist. Maybe you wanna be a digital game designer or a website technician or 
Maybe you want to draw fashions or interior design or buildings or roadways or bridges. Someone say, oh yeah. Oh yeah. There's so many career possibilities for artists. So many. Everything had to be drawn first. Even this bottle of water right here that I'm drinking. See this bottle of water? This bottle of water right here. Someone had to draw that bottle before they manufacture it. Look at your shoe. Everybody look at your shoe and say, nice shoe. Nice shoe. Look at your neighbor's shoe and say, excellent shoe. Excellent shoe. Did you know that your shoe is a functional sculpture? Someone, some artist had to draw that shoe with a pencil. Am I right, Miss Janet? Someone, someone had to draw that shoe before they built it. See, it's illustration is fundamental to anything that's built or manufactured. So we're gonna be drawing the future right here. We're drawing the future. Now let's draw the bird beak here. Draw a little bird beak. And this is contour line, so we're gonna curve this in. How many of you online are, how many of you are online drawing? Anybody out there drawing with me? Get, tell me, send me a text, tell me where you're from and if you're online. Uh, Manuela, where are you from? Looks like we have Brazil, we have Germany on. Hi, Heather, we have Ireland on. It's like two in the morning. In Say hi, Alfred. We have Tim Decker on, my good friend. He used to, anybody ever watch The Simpsons? Okay, Tim Decker, he's on with us right now from Milwaukee. He's a professor of animation. And sometimes I watch his videos and he watches mine. It's so cool. Hi, Tim Decker. Everybody say, hi, Tim Decker. Hi. Wait, wait, that's Professor Tim to you. And also we have another professor. We have Professor Bill Reeves. He's from France. He's a professor of, cre of creativity. There's actually a subject called creative thinking and business. And he teaches and teaches the kids in his class, the students how to draw in France. Very cool. Someone say, ooh. Say, hi, Professor Bill. Hi, hey, Professor Tim. We have a lot of scholars on here. Let's see, we have Jesse, Manuel. Where are you from, Manuel? Manuela? Manuela, where are you from? That's, you have a great name. Uh, let's see, we have Steven Richardson. Everybody say, hi, Steven. We have Jesse Hops. We have Joel Adams. Oh my goodness. Any of you teachers, do any of you teachers know uh, the TV series called King of the Hill? Any teachers, raise your hand. Well, one of the character developers for King of the Hill, Anders, is online. Say hi, Mr. Adams. Hi, Mr. Adams. Joel Adams, what a treat to have you online with us. It's always fun. Thanks, Joel, for coming on. I just love this. Yesterday, oh, there's Dwayne Holloman. Ooh, hi, Dwayne. Anybody like the Ninja Turtles? Well, we had Steve Levine uh, on with us yesterday, and he's one of the original comic illustrators. Well, sorry, hold on, I gotta get my Facebook and delete. Hold on, guys, I lost it. There we go, I'm back. All right, let's draw the birds. Ah! Why? Why? Why does he draw hair? I don't understand. Why? Why does he scream when he draws hair? Why? Um, because it's what? It's fun, that's right. Someone say, ah! I think you guys are my favorite class ever, and that includes you, little Facebook. All right, hey, we have Ed Heck on from New York City. Everybody say, hi, Mr. Ed. Hi, Mr. Ed. Mr. Ed is a very famous artist. He, you ever, you ever, how many of you like you little, you little yellow ducky guys? Those little, little rubber, well, he does paintings of the little rubber duckies, and he does like little doggies and cats like that. I love his work. I have his stickers and his magnets. All right, here we go. Ed Heck, put your website on there, please. Tim Decker, put your website on there so people can see your artwork. On, put your Instagram on there. And please don't put your Instagram on there unless I invite you to. Please don't just help everybody just crazy. Put it, don't do that. This is a, a very important turbo G rated family friendly. And I have to know the person. I have to know you really well before I ask you to put your 
your uh, Instagram link. So Tim Decker, please put your Instagram link on there. Steve Levine, put your Instagram link on there. Um, Joel Adams, put your Instagram. I want to show these kids your, your art. Ed Heck, please put your Instagram tag. Go ahead and put it right in the comment box. All right, so I'm putting this, uh, I'm putting that little back fin. Look at, look at that, the little bird. You guys, do you love it? Someone say, oh. Aww. You see, it's overlapping. It's, someone say overlapping. Oh, I just, I had so much fun. You guys, how many of you are having fun drawing with me today? Raise your hand. How many of you are having fun drawing with? How many of you are breathing oxygen right now? Raise your hand if you're breathing oxygen. Okay, who's having fun with me? See, there you go. See, I, I got everybody. All right, one more time. Hold up your drawings so I can see. I'm gonna show the world. Hold up your drawings. Put your drawings in front of your nose, but right so I can see your eyes. Look over the top. You guys are so cute. And then look over here. Look at these guys. Look at son of Janet right there. He's studying. Hey, Midian hat child, how are you? Look at that beautiful weather in California. The rest of the country is under glacier warning. And you guys have this weather, it's so beautiful. All right, put little nostrils on top. Oh, Miss Janet, thank you so much for inviting me up here. It was so worth it. I haven't driven to LA through traffic in 25 years from San Diego. It was so, it wasn't that bad. It was so, it was not as bad as it was 25 years ago. Isn't that interesting? 25 years ago, if I left San Diego at 515, I would still hit traffic at San Onofre. Today, it was straight through. I left at 7.15. It was just, maybe it's because I always went the wrong time, probably, maybe, huh? There's shade down here. Hello, Mary and Quinn Fox. Hey, everybody, tell me where you're from. Oh, Manuela Gondolini. Say hi, Manuela Gondolini. Hi, He's from Germany. Say hi, Deutschland. Hi, Deutschland. He's from Germany. How cool. Good to see you guys. We have Michigan. I always love to see where everybody's coming from here. Where is everybody? Okay, come on, guys. Oh, we have Wisconsin. Here's Shade. Say hi, Wisconsin. Hi, Wisconsin. See, yeah, you guys were drawn all over the world. Here's Shade, Shade, Shade. Shade, Shade, Shade. Now, how many of you guys would like to draw with me again? Who would like to draw again? Who would like to draw something like, oh, the Humpty Dumpty's butt? Or... Maybe, maybe the doorway to wonder. Maybe the doorway. Look at, look at, the, look at the doorway here. Look, maybe, maybe you want to draw the doorway, or maybe the the little mouse in the in the. Well, these are all lessons that I've done on my daily webcast. Now, how many of you go on to YouTube? Anybody go on to YouTube? Well. If you guys, how many of you and your family go on Facebook? Raise your hand if your family has a Facebook page. If your family has a Facebook page, look at this. I be oh, oops, oops, I'm trying to, I'm using the wrong camera. All right, right here I do every day for 90 days. I'm on day 72. Someone say, wow. wow. This is my hour today. That's live. I'm sharing it with the world here. So if you guys are on Facebook and you want to draw more with me, in the evenings, ask your parents to log on to my Facebook page. Look for a picture of me, it's going yay. I, on Facebook, there's a picture of, of Elmo jumping behind me. Elmo, you'll see me and Elmo. That's why you know it's on the right Facebook page. All right, and this whole school visit today was sponsored by this nonprofit organization called the Mark Kistler Imagination Initiative. And it helped me get to Comic-Con San Diego Fest and it also help uh, me come to your school today. So say, awesome. awesome. See, a lot of you out there in Facebook world are my contributors and you're made this possible. Everybody say, thank you. Thank you. See, you guys are awesome. See, there's, there's a real impact for what you do. All right, so if you kids want to draw more with me, I'm going to give you my website. It's a Turbo G-rated family website for you and your family. I post lessons on here. In my blog, you can watch them, uh, draw, um, uh, draw3d.com. That's one of them. And then there's another one. Write this one down, www.markkistler.com. M-A-R. So here's the website, M-A-R-K-K-I-S-T. 
L E markkistler.com. And if you want to draw more, you can go on and draw with me a little bit every day. Once a day, 20 minutes a day, 10 minutes a day. Just a little bit every day. It, that's how you go it. Draw, write this, draw every day. Write that, draw every day, just a little bit. It's so good for your brain. It's so good for your thinking. Someone say, awesome. awesome. Do I have three people from this side who would like to come up and show your drawing to the world? Okay, Mr. Hand, Miss Pink Sleeve, Mr. Hand next to you, and Miss Gap, come on up here. Come on, bring your drawings. Here they come. They're smiling. Okay, put the drawings over your nose so I can put you on the, come on up here. And put your drawings up on you guys. Are here. here comes the teacher taking pictures. Look at these drawings, you guys. You see the thumbs up going crazy on my screen right now. You guys did so great. Okay, stay there. I'm going to put you on the school camera. Okay, so there's our camera. Now I'm going to put you on this camera right here. Look at that, you guys. Look at that. Someone say, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at my, my camera movement. I'm, oh, look at the bird. It's so that looks like my sister. Look at this, you guys. Look at that fish. He needs to go to a dentist. That's so great. Someone say awesome. Awesome. All right. Thank you. Let's see Miss Janet and Miss Janet's offspring come up here. Okay, so here comes Miss Janet. And she's going to come here, Mr. Son, son of Janet. Okay, Miss Janet. Look right here. here. Come here, guy. Come here. Okay, here. Put your drawings up. So let me show the world yours. There's Miss Janet. I met Janet in San Diego Comic Fest and such a treat being at her school. And I'm, can you take a picture with me and her later? Yeah. Okay, put your drawing up, buddy. Look at it, he drew a big. Come here, step closer, son. Step closer. There we go. Look at that. Okay, still hold it still, hold it still, hold it still. Here, I'm gonna show this camera right here. Ready? You're hold it back up. I'm gonna do this. And that way, now we can show the school. Here he is. <laughs> don't move, don't move, stay still. Someone say, ooh la la. la, la. And then here's Miss Janet, and then Miss Janet. La, la. And here, give me it, You're, you draw so light, and we're gonna, ooh, ooh, Look, I'm gonna darken up so you can see it. Look at this, look. Ooh, awesome. look at that. You guys, look at that, you should see the, come here. Come here, over my shoulder, look at the hearts. Look, they're going crazy for your drawing, come here. Well, look right here. Okay. Isn't that cool? What? Now they disappeared. Come on, guys, give them some hearts. They were going nuts a second ago. So he comes over and is not. Ah, there they go. There they go. All right, here, take it. I love you guys. You're awesome. I hope you draw more with me on draw3d.com, marquesa.com, or Facebook. Okay. Now, now we come to a point where we can ask some questions. It's ask Mr. Mark questions. So I'll take questions from. Uh, Ireland and Germany and um, uh, uh, Sao Paulo, Brazil, out uh, here. And you guys, anybody have any questions for me? What's a question you have for me? Miss Janet, you know I'm deaf, so can you translate for me? You can come on up here, come here. Come up to the front and you can scream at me. I'm... Now kids, here's a little life lesson. Here, stand right here in front, stand right here. Here's a life lesson about taking care of your ears and your teeth, ready? How many of you brush your teeth every day? Okay, good, that's gonna save you a lot of money when you're about more than you're my age. Now, how many of you like loud music? Okay, I have to tell you two things. One, when you're listening to music with headsets, turn it down so that you don't hear any like screaming. My ear, I'm deaf right now because I listen to loud music in high school and college. And I can only hear about 6%. So my life right now is like this. When you talk to me, I hear, and I have hearing aids. And then and everybody, it sounds like everybody's talking about a goat. Everybody, no matter what they say, it sounds like, here, say something to me. Say something. Nice. I don't have a goat. See, okay, can we see your drawing first? Here he is. He has a question for me. And that whole point was about here. Let's show your drawing to the world. You guys look at his shark. Say, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at this. Look at look at. All right, come here. What's your question, sir? Uh, could you, could you Put this over your nose. Uh, Janet, can you come up here in front so you can tell me what he's saying? 
Okay, what you, put, put your drawing over your nose, please. He's asking for your eyes. Put your drawing over his nose so I can put him up there. That's a, a, a lower down so I can see your eyes. There we go. And what is your question? He wants your autograph. Give it to me right here. Now, now here, you guys. I love you, but he was the first one. You know what? You're probably the only one in school because I, I have to leave right after this, but I'm going to give him my autograph. If you guys uh, want my autograph, I would love to do it. Send me a self-addressed stand envelope. Find my website. Go to the address. And awesome job. What's your name, buddy? Well, this is great. Awesome job. Okay. Now, I'm going to have time for another question. Miss Jenny, can you stay up here with me? And Miss Blue, come on up here. Yep, come here. If you have a question, and it, come here. And you can, if you have a question, come up. I have two more questions. Come here. Come here. Stand right here. Okay. And that just, that's enough right there. Miss Janet, can you translate for me? Go ahead. How do you draw so well? Practice, 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 and practice some more. Okay, no more, but guys. Sit down, we're gonna have these four. Honey, here, come here. Here, just walk this. And then wave to the world. I'm trying to cover her identity. There you go. Wave to the world, yay! Okay, get out of here, I love you. All right, what's your question? Tell her and she's gonna translate for me. She's asking how many days did it take to draw so well? Uh, 10,473. So, honey, basically, I've been drawing since I was... You know what a funny story. My mom tells me that she saw me drawing. And back when we were babies, we had high chairs. You guys don't know what a high chair is. You had the little clamp ons to the table, right? That clamped it. Raise your hand if your chair, when you were a baby, clamped onto the table. Well, we had separate chairs. Remember high chairs? Mm -hmm. And with the little trays. So I used to draw in my food. That she goes, I remember you drawing in the cream of wheat. And then, and then she said she caught me one time. It was like three in the morning on the kitchen floor with peanut butter, drawing with peanut butter on the kitchen floor. Isn't that funny? Thank you for the question. Go back to your seat, sweetheart. Okay, here we go. We have Mr. Whitaker Shark Boy. He wants your autograph. Okay, okay, you know what? Send me a step over here. And that no, this is my last one because I gotta go. But I'm gonna sign it to you because you're brave and you came up here. Um, but there we go. I love you guys. Send me a self-addressed stamped envelope and we'll get you some autographs. Here you go, sweetie. Okay, back to your seat. Do you have a question? Um, why did he want me to start drawing? When did you want to start drawing? That is a good question. Where's your paper? You get an autograph for a good question. Give me your paper. That was it. When did I know I will? Look at that bird. Holy macaroni. Someone say, holy macaroni. Look at that. Look at his notes. Look at how old are you? You're like 37? Look at this guy. He's like, he's eight. Are you eight years old? Nine. Wow. I'm going to give you my autograph. All right. So how did, when did I know I wanted to learn how to draw? I, I wanted to be a famous artist. When I was your age, you guys. When I was your age, and I used to love, I still do the, the see, if you have, I love the Flintstones comics, and I wanted to become the Flintstones cartoonist. And so I used to draw when I was your age and trace. I traced a lot. Tracing's okay, that's how you learn. Some people think tracing's cheating. I go, nope, tracing's okay. Michelangelo traced, Da Vinci traced, George O'Keefe traced when they were learning how to draw. Mark Kistler traced. Notice I put my name with the famous artist. Isn't that funny? All right. Uh, do you have a question for me, Jen, or I'm just going to wrap it up? No, I have no yeah. questions. All right. Well, you guys, thank you so much for inviting me and spending part of your precious day drawing with me. I hope you do. Draw with me every day on, uh, on Amazon Prime, on Facebook, and on YouTube. Okay, you guys? I'm going to put that on there. There we go. Amazon Prime. Someone say yay. yay. All right, guys. Thanks a lot. Bye, everybody. Bye. <laughs> All right, guys. Stand up and stretch and watch your teachers. They're going to help you get dismissed. Watch your teachers. Oh, my gosh. Okay, this is, hey, guys, look at this.
<coughs> okay, what you're seeing here, you guys, is a drawing by Mr. Gavin. And Gavin is, uh, how old is Gavin? 16. Gavin's 16 years old. And look at, look at these drawings. This, this reminds me of the background art for some of the most famous animated movies. Um, he's, this, look at this. Look at that. That's beautiful, Gavin. Can I take a picture? Yeah, come here, Gavin. Come here, guys. I'm going to put that on the screen. We're taking photos. Yay! Are you happy? Are you smiling? All right, here. You guys did great. Don't leave. I'm going to say bye. Say bye to the world, you guys. Bye! All right, there's our 90-day drawing lesson today. Goodbye, everybody. I love you. Take care of each other.